They self-destructed. These machines from the society are terrifyingly powerful. Hmm. Seems like they were the same type I had at my command during the Civil War. Once again, you dropped a bombshell like that on us so nonchalantly. What exactly were you doing during the Civil War? You too, Instructor Reen. Why don't you say... Instructor? Don't let your guard down. Remember the information we got. How many shadows did my friend say she saw? Three shadows. There's another. Ah. Cute. Clam. It won't make it. Ooh, ah. I can't do the noises really at all, can I? At least it didn't kill anyone. Chopped off Kurt's head or anything. Although I suppose the blade side wouldn't be on the slicey bit. Be on the blunt side. So I just get a banged up head anyway. Anyway. Amazing. What was green? I'm alright. I only used it for a moment. See? Already back to normal. But that doesn't mean... What if something like that happens again? There's no other way. Sorry for making you worry, though. My students are worrying about me. But it means I've failed as an instructor. This is no laughing matter. Why do you always... Instructor... Ring? It's not an illness or anything. It's more like a special power. It might seem a little strange, but I'll make sure not to use it too much. So just bear with me a little. Bear with you? No way it's that simple. You just use that weird power to save us. Thank you for protecting us. Um, perhaps... Uh... Well, anyway, you guys slipped up a little this time. If you remember the info we got, you wouldn't have been caught off guard by the last one. I suppose it's understandable since it's only your first day, but I'm expecting you all to do better next time. Mm, you're always so... We have no excuses for our performance. We'll just do better next time. Afterwards, they thoroughly searched the area, but found no further archaisms. Seeing as they didn't come across anything else suspicious, they decided to return to Palm. All around the St. Arc area, e even here, something's definitely up. Agreed. Over the last batch of Archaeisms, were designed to defend bases. It would be strange for those models to have been let loose during the Civil War. Yeah, it's probably safe to say the road to the south is suspicious. Today's our first day of Special Operations missions. Let's try to finish everything by the evening. We'll return to Palm, take care of our other tasks, and head south after that. Right. Now more than ever, we must be on our guard. It's like, yes, let's, let's head over to Palm. I'd get on the horse, but it's like we're going to have to get straight off it as soon as we get to the stairs. So. Very well. Uh. Go on. Get. Get. Let's take off turbo. Uh, just trying to remember like how to get the My turn. menu up. Horse? There we go. Alright, let's go. Time to ride. Like genuinely he's like, what's the plan yeah. for the horse? Easy now. There we go. So where do we need to go here? Oh, just south straight away. Alright then. Feels weird. According to the report, the remaining mysterious monsters are bound down this path. Since we're low on clues, we should just investigate as much as possible. Are you three still doing alright? Can you keep going? Of course we are, you don't need to worry about us. 
We need to complete everything by evening, right? Then we'd better put our all into resolving this quickly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just don't push yourself too much. You'll want to talk, Instructor. Anyway, beginning patrol and investigation. Yes, indeedy. I think it's around here I can get some of the stuff I need for Freddy, so let's actually get a few battles. Brace yourself! So we are in need of them. You can't escape! Fire! Also won't hurt to build stuff back up as well. Very well. Uh, strike! That's it's annoying. my turn! Second form Gale. Second form Gale! Alright, nice work. Oh, so close. Stop I just need one game. more. One more be love. I've got the other things. It's just I need one more. Yeah. Gucci. Our chance. All right. So let's try and finish these off quickly. Uh, strike. My turn. Brianna on those guys. Brianna, fire. Now. Oh, screw it. I was going to save stuff, but. Got it. Let's go. Huh. All right, all right. Now, that should get me Is one, that right? All? There we go. Because now it's very much like field exercise camp. Should I give Freddy the plant bits and bee lava? Yes. Is this what you were looking for? Reed handed three clumps of plant bits and three bee lava to Freddy. Oh, ho, ho, this is precisely what I was looking for. Stay right there and don't move a muscle. It's time for me to get cooking. Yeah, oh, seeing him up close, he's actually pretty skilled with his hands. Only the ingredients were good. Agreed. And by the way, uh, you use a trident, right? Is your hometown near the ocean or a river? Actually, my hometown's in Sutherland. We've got mountains and rivers, as far as the eye can see. Yeah, we live side by side with nature since way back. I see. <laughs> Voila, dinner is served. Ah, give it a try! You gotta eat it while it's hot. The flavors of field exercises, Freddy's special number one. Survival chowder, packed with plenty of bee lava and nice healthy plant seeds, and other bits. Oh, um, um, a bee lava's still a bee lava, no matter how you cook it. Only the brave or exceptionally hungry would eat this. Not only does it look alarming, it smells pretty nasty too. They spent time making this especially for us. Have to at least try it. Ring carried a spoonful of the chowder to his mouth, beads of sweat forming on his forehead. Did he do it? He did it. Huh. Well... Oh, it's, uh, it's a bit of an acquired taste, but surprisingly, it's not too bad. Past the initial wave of bitterness, there's an exquisite savory flavor. <laughs> Don't know what's so surprising about it, but I'm glad to see you like it. S seriously? I'm sort of curious now. Maybe we should try it. Seriously, I'm pleasantly surprised by how good it is. Out of curiosity, why did you decide to join the branch campus, Freddy? Why would you want to leave your beautiful hometown to do all this? Hmm, well, pretty much just to get stronger and broaden my horizons. Back during the Civil War, my town took a little bit of damage. Decided I want to be the kind of man who's able to protect the things that are precious to me. No matter what. Whatever I need to do to become that kind of guy, I'll do it. I see, that's very impressive. Had a hard time figuring Freddy out at first. He actually has a pretty good head on his shoulders when it comes to cooking and life. Ah, uh, Instructor Ring? Oh no, it's nothing. Anyway, that was a treat, thanks. <laughs> you bet! Anytime. There we go. Wild wow, Raspberry Freddy can now make curious cuisine. Indeed. Is there anything I can get? What can I get you today? I can get all the. Well, let's get that, actually. It's like, oh wait, <laughs> they aren't today? fishing rods, are they? They're actually just stuff I need. Oop, I do want that. Like we get everything we can here, because they'll help me with the fishing, which is always 
could. That's what I want to say, but it's not what my heart believes. Right. Back to chests. And let's, let's see go. up. Oh, it's the wrong button. All right, let's go. Time to ride. Time to ride. No. I expected there to be a chest there, but no, it's a fishing spot. The fishing comes at me once again. I can't escape it. No matter what game I play these days, there's fishing in it. Even Neptunia adapted fishing into it somehow. Like, how? I don't know how. And it was actually quite good. Uh, uh, my butt's starting to hurt. You'll get used to it soon. You heard me? Oh, Adios, kill me now. I do remember I was pleasantly surprised by the fishing in Neptunia. The rest right, of the game was sort go. of a... Time to ride. Yep. Yeah! But the fishing! That was actually pleasantly surprised, because it used the, used the haptic feedback of the PlayStation 5 control... Uh, strawberry seeds. Oh, we need those for the garden and stuff, don't we? It's the only problem with this horse, it's like getting on and off. Oh, what's over here? What could be down here? How mysterious. There's some kind of road, but... I'm not allowed to go there. Must have been some kind of avalanche or something. Hello, hello. Is that the only person we need to speak to? Yes. Because it's like, well, I want to head off a bit, actually. Make sure I get the chest before we head back to speak to her. I was hoping to see her around. Because now I'm more invested in her story as a result of... Speaking to her in Cold Steel 1 and 2... Chest. Ah, treasure chest. I won't go easy. Damn you. Um, let's try and build stuff up while we've got this chance then. So let's check it. An opening! It's my turn! I still want to do a second form game. Second form? Scale! Very well. Yeah! Heat's down! It's mine! <laughs> Alright! You can't escape! It's like st Fire! they're still a bit dangerous, so it's all right. Mm, gotta be a bit careful. Brianna. Fire! Let's go! Hmm. Let's go with that. Forma! Iron will it's my turn. Huh. My turn. I'm just worried about your health, mate. Uh, there. It's mine. Here I go. It's my turn. Uh, it's down. I'll assist now. There Battle we go. complete. Let's continue. So be a bit, bit careful there. Not, not go too crazy. Ooh, Nemesis Arrow. Let's have a look at that. Nemesis Arrow. Probably be good on you, if anyone. Still need something there. Ah, complete. There we go. Nemesis Arrow. ATS ADF. He says, a high voltage flash of lightning in a direct line. It's like... I'm gonna go with that over it, but it's like... I wanna be working towards getting something like evasion going with you, but... Right now, not really got much. Got the soul blur there. Don't I have a inferior soul blur somewhere? Thought I did, but no. We'll leave it be. We'll leave it be. All right, let's go speak to you down here, because I think that was it in terms of chests, right? I wonder where else I could go. Only down here. This is one, like, right at the end. And there is. How do I get that without attracting the enemy? That's, that's, here's the, here's the thing now, like... Hi? Uh, I found some treasure! Okay, we're, we're done. Yes! Again, that's part of the fun for me, is, like, trying to get these things without a battle. Oh, they're not biting. It's because of it earlier. What a pain. Might be because you've not got any um, fishing wire on your fishing rod. Maybe. Hey, someone's fishing over there. Hmm, she looks familiar. Her hair has changed slightly, but yes. The attitude is the same from the looks of it, though. Oh! Could it be? Are you Reen Schwarza, perchance? Annabelle? Is that you? <laughs> I knew it. It's been quite some time. Have you come all this way to partake in this secret fishing spot as well? We anglers do think alike, don't we? Oh, I 
didn't come here to fish, actually. Who is she, Instructor? Is she another one of your classmates? No, she's a fellow angler. But what are you up to here, Annabelle? Fishing! You saw her doing it! <laughs> Starting this year, I'm a full-fledged member of the Honourable Imperial Fishing Club. And as a professional angler, I'm in the middle of a survival fishing pilgrimage around the Empire. So, you're basically just wandering around fishing everywhere. Wait, the Imperial Fishing Club? I feel like I've heard of that before. Oh, yes. I may have seen it mentioned in the Imperial Chronicle from time to time. It seems like you're uh, as independent as ever. But it doesn't seem like you've been able to catch all that many fish today. No, to be honest, I haven't caught a single one. Uh, that strange sound earlier must have scared all the fish off. And that was a strange sound? Yes, it was reverberating throughout the area until only recently. It was a cacophony of rattling and screeching, a very unpleasant series of metallic sounds. Worst of all, it caused all the fish to flee. Annabelle, which way did those sounds come from? Well, they seem to come from up that plateau over there. However, the road to it is closed off. Oh, I wonder why. So it's hard to say what lies that way. Hmm, this keeps up. I'll end up wasting away to nothing. Instructor? Yeah. Definitely seems like worth looking into. Could we head back and check it out? Yes. Let's go. It's good to see you again, though, isn't it? And I'm very acutely aware of, like, the differences between the fishing clubs now. Sure enough, the old road's completely closed off. Are those old shipping containers? What is this, a junkyard or something? I'm not sure. I was very young when I left here. These containers have been here as far back as I can remember. Hmm, and it does seem like we can get through here. Is there anything we can climb over? No. We can get through here. Brianna. You were! I do like to smash things. Altini, you nearly gave me a heart attack, and I've got several splinters in my legs. Agreed, it was rather abrupt. I was simply conserving time. It's almost 4pm, it's nearly evening. Well, um, that's one way she's different from Milliam. Well, for better or worse, the path is clear now. Let's go ahead. It's just like, wh wh Do we need anything else around here, though? Before we proceed, doesn't seem like there's anything marked on the map. That's good. Like, what could this be? Anybody who's played the previous games, were you aware what this was when you got here? Obviously, I know what it is, but... From what Annabelle told us, the noises seem to come from this plateau. What's this gate for? No clue. It's pretty intimidating. Does this path continue on to the mountains? This area is not listed on the map. And there is nothing about this gate or the road beyond. It may be an abandoned road that hasn't been used in decades. But wait. The gate doesn't seem that old. Warning. Authorized personnel only. Danger due to landslide beyond this point. I think it, if, like, if you weren't aware this point, like just before this point, you'd be aware now what this place was, wouldn't you? Well, that's not a lot of info. Did you know about this place, Kurt? No, I hadn't even heard of it. Since the containers are always piled up there, I never thought to go beyond them. In any case, it seems unlikely the Archaisms were spotted beyond here. Yeah, this place seems pretty heavily locked up. There's no evidence they broke their way in, either, so uh, let's look... Uh... It's 
funny seeing these guys. Prepare for battle. Seems like they decided to come to us. What? Between the trees. Plopsilaeus. What? Are these things archaisms too? Yes, an extremely special type. This model is made for surprise attacks and assassinations. Balancing clowns. G Are these things really just machines? Very well. We should prove no easy prey. Watch out for their trick attacks. They can poison you and inflict paralysis. Yet they come. A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. He's busy. Maybe I should have healed up Kurt. It's my turn. Maybe, 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 maybe heal up Kurt. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, you should do. Let's go. All right, zero order. This thing is it zero order. Hmm. Let's go with the absolute reflect. Let's go, Evan Crest. My turn. We should be right there. Although I probably should have done that. Although it, it's it's because of the um Brianna, I should have gone with damage, shouldn't I? It threw me no. off. It threw me off. Instructor Leave it to me! It's my turn! Let's Arcadius gear then. Now transform. Sync complete. Like I could Go, still switch Arcadius over to damage gear. at this point. Ready, like that's the launch. bit I've got to get back into my head, like, remember, Brianna, like, the turn fire. order. It's not based on the enemy's turns, it's based on it's the turns. It's my turn! There's no way to get both of them. Alright. Let's go! I'm gonna have to go with Chris and Flash. Get back! It's down! Let's go, Altina! Understood. Huh. Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! Our chance! It's mine! Behold, the dual blades of Vander! Now! Very simple, these ones, compared to the previous battles. I think it's because we got them broken so fast. Ragna, strike! It's my turn! It's something like, I mean, I'll go with Iron Will, Forma. but... Iron Will formation. I don't feel like I need it, but, I'm up. yeah. Second form, Damn. Yeah, All right. so I just nice work. didn't need it, but you know, just, just just so I can remember and get in a pattern with these guys. There's a bait. <sighs> oh, we did it. Bizarre machines that fight with dirty tactics. How low will the society sink? I feel as though I've reached my daily energy limit. Red things. Huh? On the other side. I see them. And there are even more. We're blocked off. They're just toying with us? A bunch of clowns. And they sure aren't funny. Sorry, you three. Seems I've pushed you all too hard. Just leave this to me. What? Uh, what is he? No, Reen! 
spirit universe? That won't be necessary. Makes me giggle still. Huh? She's... No way. Pitiful. Arsade School's special technique. Her combat strength has increased exponentially from before. <laughs> A temporary master of immense skill. I should have known. I never thought I'd get to see both you and Elliot again here. <laughs> Come now. You should have been prepared for at least this much. Though we have exchanged letters, it's been some time since we've seen each other's faces. You've grown taller, haven't you? To be frank, I nearly didn't recognize you at first. <laughs> you too, Laura. You've become so strong and dazzlingly beautiful, it's hard to believe it's only been a little over a year. <laughs> There's no need for flattery. I'm aware I still need training in that regard. Uh, uh... It is good to see you again. I've heard much about you. Ah, I see a familiar face, but I shall introduce myself nonetheless. I like her coach thing. I am the daughter of the Viscount of Legram. Laura S. R. Said. I'm also a member of the original Class 7. It is a pleasure to meet you all. The name of the game, everyone. So, this is a request from the Viscount? Mm-hmm. As soon as I achieved mastery, I was qualified to become an instructor. I have been traveling to wherever my services have been needed ever since. Makes sense. It hasn't been that long. Yet so much is already happening for you. The Viscount must have high hopes for you, Laura. Well, I certainly pray I can live up to them. Your family's school is famous, isn't it? Penny. The Arsade and Vander School's assortmanship are the most renowned in the Empire. Correct. In terms of scale and notoriety, they're about equal. Both also happen to have masters serving our country's military in some form. And that they do. I suppose I prefer a more humbling approach, but yes, we are quite known. And I've heard much of you from your father. It is a rare thing indeed to meet a dual wielder of the Vander Sword style. Oh, I wouldn't say I'm worthy of any special mention. I'm still a novice. I'm far from brother are years beyond me. And I wouldn't think to compare myself to someone like you when you've obtained mastery at such a young age. And why is that? There are endless paths of the sword. Mastery is but a single point on one's unique path. I have much training to do. But I'd place myself at a similar point as you, instructor, really. Yeah, I don't think so. Please, you needn't be so humble. There are also geniuses who go beyond the concept of mastery, one being the head of your campus. That's one way to describe her. She's more a monster than a genius. No joke, she's that strong? She's messed up both the Arsade and Vander Styles. Does that answer your question? Wow, that's nuts. 
I'm sure everyone was expecting her to come with you on your field exercises. Yeah, we were actually. But it doesn't seem like she stayed behind because of any meddling on the government's part. But right now, I'm more worried about all these reports of archaisms. Do you think it means our Arboros is up to something? It's possible, but any answer I give would be pure speculation on my part. It's also possible they were let loose as a decoy. Attract attention here in order to do something worse elsewhere. It would be true to their MO. As it would be for the intelligence division. They would utilize a similar strategy in this case. And we just went right out and blabbed it. <laughs> Direct as always. <laughs> Let's keep in touch in case either one of us learns new info. It sets my mind at ease knowing you and Elliot are right around the corner. Although I have a funny feeling this wasn't some divine intervention from the goddess. Oh, I don't know what makes you think that. But likewise, I'll be counting on you as well. To you as a fellow graduate of Thor's and as one who carries on the Class 7 name. Wow, she's just too cool. She's tall, dignified, beautiful. You know, I believe your eyes are becoming giant pink hearts. Didn't realize she was a part of Class 7 as well. Really? I guess I never did mention it. Laura and Elliot are both irreplaceable friends of mine from Class 7. Each of them graduated early this last year, from their own personal reasons, but uh, because of their support that I myself was able to graduate that spring. Ah. Millium too? Yeah, she's just as much a member of our class as any of us. Of course, the old Class 7 and the new Class 7 aren't the same. You guys should try and find an identity for your class all your own. Even finish your first day of special missions without any problems. Oh, now that you mention it. We investigated three remote areas and finished all our required quests by the end of the day. Honestly, it was a close call. Well, we're not done until we get back to the camp. Let's get going, everyone. Hopefully we can get back to camp before sunset. Got it. Understood. The main story will progress once you leave Palm via the west exit. Yeah, which is all the way over there. But there is some little green stars around, but I think... If we just get those done and then end this part, I feel... This green one here. About three years ago, the entire area was caught up in that big incident that happened down in the Burl. And all orbital energy was rendered useless. But thanks to the water mills, the looms were still in commission. Thanks to that, everyone's jobs were saved. With torches from the old times, so the nights weren't too bad either. <laughs> if I didn't appreciate our old traditions before then, I certainly did after. A life without orbital energy. Can't even imagine that in Crossbell. The people of Palm are rather resilient in that sense. Yeah, they really are. This might be a good topic for the radio. We ain't got new material for the radio. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually anything else around, but I'll probably check in between the parts. No, oh, I can't go out anyway. I was gonna say like I'll check like see if like anything popped up on these locations. So I could just see maybe like if there was anything for like um, like pictures to take or anything like that, but clearly not. So let's actually Arcus and talk to Monk. Should probably report to Monk. <laughs> I've been waiting, Rain. Oh, I bet you have. Give me the dirt. <laughs> so, here's what I've heard. Rain told Monk a story that could be used for the radio. <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. I'll send you your prize. Should be there by tonight. Keep an eye out. You didn't have to do that, Monk, but thanks. And there we go. Right, so, we'll now end this part here. In the next part, we'll leave to head back to the um, field exercise camp, I suppose. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.